Rise from your grave. Welcome to CRT Gaming. And today's scan lines are brought to you by the Sony Trinitron KV27B42 CRT TV. Now this uh, TV happens to be a curved glass CRT tube TV. So <laughs> um, I have uh, struggled this week trying to get a good recording of this and um, I really Think that it has to do with that curved glass because if you're at just the wrong aim angle and not exactly 100% right it can make the picture look a little bit distorted um, so I've messed with this done a few things and this is the recording we're gonna go with and I hope that this turns out good so <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna play through the uh, first boss after the initial boss fight um, at the beginning of the game. So we'll give you a uh, hopefully a decent repre representation of how Castlevania X looks on a CRT TV. So if you see you know what looks a little bit like distortion um, man it looks good on my screen it it's just the angle of the camera so I'm gonna have to realize this is not gonna be perfect but that's okay that's not what CRT gaming is about it's about having fun and uh, nostalgia all right Classic opening. Really does kind of get you in the mood for Halloween, doesn't it? So I try to not take damage on this initial boss fight. <clears throat> not always successful on that. Um, if you can do it without taking damage, you get a little boost in hit points at the to start off with. So we'll see what happens here. And as you can see, that exposes a secret button up there. If you hit that button right at the beginning there, it does drop down a uh, staircase that you can go up and, and get some stuff. But as you'll see, all of that stuff... Uh, is taken away from me anyway so I try to get this done as fast as I can and try to get it done unscathed so that I can get a little boost in starting hit points and of course this game was only available in Japan for the Sega Saturn there is some hacks out there that I've heard about that have uh, localized it and even fixed some of the uh, gripes that people have had about Castlevania X on the Sega Saturn over the years. One of these days I am going to have to uh, check those out. Right now this is just Castlevania X. Yeah, I might have hit that just a little too soon. So I'll give him a couple whacks on the head and that'll help. <laughs> this is just my method of doing it. I'm sure people have better methods. Um, <clears throat> sometimes he'll just continue to jump in the same place. So we'll see, we'll see if we can't get uh, him out of here without taking any damage. Nope. Shouldn't have moved. That was my bad. So I did take a little damage. That's okay. Not going to get the boost, but, uh, 
you know, you get, you can level up and so forth, so. And the long and skippable prologue. It's kind of cool that the text is in, in English, though. Very cool. <clears throat> it's pretty healthy load times on the Saturn version. some slow down there so some of the gripes that I've heard about the Saturn version is slow down and transparencies they don't uh, they did not do the transparencies as well on the Saturn as they did on Symphony of the Night for the PlayStation <clears throat> Man, these guys can get annoying because they just pop up right under your feet and ding you Luckily, they're weaklings. There, we got our level up. I'll grab that heart. Basic standard fare as far as uh, your hearts that you collect is your ammo for your sub weapons. meat it's hard to find this time the name is in English but the text is not <clears throat> all right so he strips you of all your weapons everything and basically you're starting brand new here now you'll get a uh, short sword on the first enemy you should anyway we'll jump through here if you can do this just right uh, you'll find a heart container that will take up the maximum heart level so that you can carry more ammo. <clears throat> really sorry about the a little bit of a sore throat today. So 
So you just gotta kind of punch this dude, then once you get your uh, weapon, your short sword, you can go in and equip that on your left hand. So your A button is your left hand, B button is jump, C button is your left hand. So I will get a, uh, a shield at some point and I will equip that in my left hand so you can hit C to pull that shield up. All right, so here we're gonna save. And we're going to try to get through the first boss, which should be fairly easily done. I do not speed run this game, so you will not see me sliding backwards. I play this game the way I feel like it was meant to be played. <laughs> um, my, my goal is not to burn through it as fast as possible. So. And the, uh, the backward slide is that's meant as a defensive maneuver, um, you know, and it's just exploited by speedrunners. I, I don't have a lot of joy watching people, you know, slide backwards through this whole game. It just, I don't know, it just it kind of annoys me, honestly. the shield. We'll go and put that in our left hand. <clears throat> right hand is A and left hand is C. There's a maneuver back there where you can get um, a weapon right off the bat, uh, and you can get it before defeating the boss that we're gonna, we're gonna fight. Um, never really been good at, at doing that, so I go about that the way it was meant to be. I, I beat the boss and then circle around to that weapon. You'll see that here. And we have a secret room under the floor here. Should get a life up out of here. Once that thing drains, then it pops out a uh, life up max container. So that's pretty cool. Anytime you get one of those, it fills your health all the way too. <clears throat> of course, when you save it, it refills your health as well. Doesn't refill your ammo, but it does your health. And there's another heart container. guy. I think that's a monster potion where if you can you can equip that in one of your hands and then use it and it pops out uh, it spawns a monster that fights for you. The monster is weak but it does. That's kind of cool. Let me get back over here and kill this thing first. This uh, <laughs> I don't know the proper term for it. The skeleton that's dropping poison drops you don't want to get poisoned. I mean, it's, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's good to avoid if you can. Oh boy, I should have uh, blocked that axe. That's all right. So you move that over the spikes. You can activate the spikes. And this really isn't that great of a secret here, but uh, there is a cape that you can gain up here. There's, there's several different items that you can equip as far as armor and items that will affect your stats. Uh, and that part of the this game is, you know, of course, tailored after RPGs, which is very cool. And there's some armor that I had picked up. And go down... There we go. Go down one. And there's the cape. The cape's really not that great. Doesn't really affect you that much, but it's kind of cool to know it's here. And if you're trying to 100% it, 
you're going to want to, you know, go to every single room and secret room in the game. <clears throat> I have never 200 percent it, and uh, I won't spoil the ending of this game for you, but there's multiple endings, and there's ways to extend the gameplay another 100 percent. So you can actually 200 percent this game. I have not done that. I think I've been around... I don't know, 190, maybe 180, that type. So we'll go ahead and save this. And we'll go take out that boss, get our weapon, come back here and save and go from there. And I fell. Well, that sucked. All right, let's get back up there. Trying to avoid getting poisoned. There we go. All right, now we got the axe sub weapon, and that does help on this boss. Uh, this boss is real easy, and there's a few techniques that you can use that just. <clears throat> Uh, make it easier. Right when you whack that green boss, he uh, jumps up, and so then you can start uh, throwing that axe uh, to hit both of them if you do it right. So you will kill both of them pretty close to the same time, at the same time. It's not my best effort, that's all right. There we go, there's one down. Now we gotta kill the demon. And there we go. First boss down. Get your max life, refills your health. Then you go down the uh, corridor here and you're gonna find your first uh, decent weapon in my opinion. It's really super fast. It's it's a uh, like a dagger, and uh, I mean it. It's super fast and it does more damage than the short sword. And I like I like that uh, smaller weapon that you can use uh, faster. I do not like the uh, you know two-handed weapons. Just I don't like that. It slows me down too much. I feel. So we take a trip down this elevator. And there you found these sunglasses. Now I don't really get into them that much. Uh, if I remember right, they kind of deduct from your intelligence. <laughs> So, um, it does affect your stats. It gives you a boost somewhere and then deducts from intelligence as well. Man, I need all the intelligence I, I've got. <laughs> Plus more. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to um, equip this new weapon. And what the heck, we'll throw the sunglasses on too. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna just fight our way back and then uh, save, and that's gonna be this um, episode of CRT Gaming. Um, if you guys want to see like a part two, part three, you know, continuing on with this, uh, let me know in the comments, man. Uh, if you you know if you like it, you know, consider you know if you want, give it a hit that like button, and um, you know if this video does well, then I will consider uh, trying to string together multiple playthroughs uh, of Dracula X on the Saturn. So, if not, we'll just move on to another game next time. So it's uh, you know, let me know. Uh, I love to play this game any time of year, but 
during October and Halloween season, this is a great game to play, man. Uh, the music, everything about it, you're fighting Dracula, well, and in this case you are a vampire, so you're, you're Dracula's son, so there you go. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this entire video, and uh, I do hope you have a safe and great rest of your day. If you do like this video, consider hitting the uh, thumbs up. Thank you guys, have a good one.